Today, I will be going over checklists and how to properly complete one. You will receive an email from Heather Crandall. Attached to that email is the tentative confirmation, which is the event checklist. Also attached is the police form. Depending on what your event entails, you might have other forms attached to complete, such as parking or environmental health and safety office. On the email from Heather Crandall, it will list when your checklist is due. Please note that all checklists are due 10 business days before your event. You will want to download and print off the tentative confirmation that you received. This is what your tentative confirmation looks like. It will list the location that you have reserved as well as the layout of your event. The event resources are the signatures that you need to get. Your first signature will always be events production. If you would like to use events production for your event, you will need to put a request in through their website at ep.gmu.edu. If you are using their services, you will then print off the estimate that they give you and attach it to your tentative confirmation. If you are not using their services, you will need to go to their office and get a signature below the resource. Your next stop is event services. You will make an appointment with Katie Klinkle. She will discuss the event that you are having and the policies for the building. For this particular event, EHS is assigned. EHS is usually assigned if you are having a blood drive or having any sort of event outside with a structure. Please make sure you set up an appointment with EHS beforehand. Do not just show up at their office. The next page, you need to go to police. Attached to your tentative confirmation is also a police form. You will need to fill out the police form and make an appointment with Sergeant Lee he will then discuss the event and decide if your event needs police or not. You will then go to your advisor. You will discuss your event with your advisor. They will then sign under their name. The second to last signature that you need is student involvement. You will need to make an appointment with either Amber or Phil and make sure that you have all of the following documents everything filled out and signed by police, all emails from events production knowing they are aware of your needs, a flyer for the event, a copy of your budget for the event, and make sure that your event is created on Get Connected. Your last stop will be events management. That is the last signature that you need for the checklist. Please email Heather Crandall to set up an appointment beforehand to turn your checklist in. When you turn the checklist in, you will also go over the setup for your event. Failure to turn your checklist in on time will result in the cancellation of your event. This is the police form that will be attached to all tentative confirmations for checklists. Please make sure to fill it out accordingly. If you have any questions about the checklist, please make sure to contact Heather Crandall immediately so she can assist you.